Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and this is day 37 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on gratitude. So, yay, I made it to day 37, and I'm just going to be excited for every day that I keep doing. Um, so, <laughs> still struggling to, to do things and to be consistent with myself, I'm trying to do a little bit better. Today didn't start out as good as I would have liked, but I did make a nice little to-do list of things to do, and um, I did go through and play around with some formatting in my book that I finished while I'm waiting for people to send me back their responses. Uh, so I had some fun doing that today, and then I started working on rewriting The Fall of Esping Landa, and I have previously written, and I kind of went through and edited a little bit, um, a summary page, I guess, of all the powers, all the teachers, no, all the powers of the land that the teachers have, because I know there's like a lot of characters and a lot of powers, so it can be a little confusing. So I'm thinking of using that as like an appendix to put like at the back of the book or the beginning of the book to kind of help clarify things. I mean, I'm also hoping that I can, you know, as people read it, that they can kind of get the gist of it and understand it. And the more the powers are used in different ways, the more it will make sense. But in the meantime, if I'm not the best at describing that, I want to put that in there for anyone that forgets or needs something to glance back at. So I kind of revised that a little bit, and I hope that helps with my next book that I'm still trying to figure out how to get into without confusing people with too many characters, because there's just a lot of characters in my next book. But I'm grateful I got to do some writing. I got to look at some things that I've done. Um, Apparently my old documents word is updating stuff, so I'm going to have to get a new word thing and not everything is transferring over. So I had to copy paste stuff from my original version that I'm working on of my second book, first slash second book, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm in the process of trying to rewrite it, but I guess it's so old that um, it won't update or save the updates that I was trying to make with the headers and footers and formatting because it's not in the new um, version. So I had to, and I don't even have the newest version, the 365 or something they've come up with. I have the 2010 version and they're going to make that obsolete, which is not happy. So I have to get the newer version apparently. I'm not ready to pay for all of that. That's, that's insane. I don't like the technology does that. Um, but it is possible that I need to get a whole different program or something for all of my books if I'm going to do my own um, formatting and stuff to self-publish. So more stuff to look into. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stick with Word because that's what I know and that's worked so far. I mean, until I have to go publish it and then hopefully... I mean, from what I've seen, Amazon has something that you can just upload a document and they kind of help you with the formatting or whatever when you do that. But I haven't gone through that whole process, so I'm not really sure. And I do want my book to look professional, even though I'm self-publishing it. So I don't want it to be completely insane or retarded like my um, YouTube videos are. <laughs> I mean, obviously that would portray my personality with all the little quirks in it. Um, it might be a little quirky anyway, just because I don't think I can take all the quirks out of me. They're, they're kind of fun. Um, and that's just who I am. So, um, which I'm okay with. I just hope that it's enticing enough for people, other people to read and or look fast if they don't like, uh, my quirkiness, I guess. Um, anyway, I am grateful that I was able to do some writing today and grateful that I was able to focus on some other things and, you know, I had this thought in my head when I started doing the whole formatting and messing with fonts. And I was like, normally I do this to avoid um, working on my writing, which I guess technically I could have been. But it's something I put on my to-do list of something to just have fun with formatting and fonts and things today. So just to kind of do something that I would enjoy. And I'm grateful that I was able to do that because when I was done with that, then I wanted to work on my book and I want to work on my book some more, except that I have to go to work. So I'm like, well, I'm going to do my YouTube video now so that I don't have to do it at like three o'clock in the morning when I get home because I'm trying to get it on the same day instead of the day after like the last couple of days have been. So I apologize for that. That's bad on me, but at least I'm doing it every single day. And so, yay, 
Is this 37 or 38? What day am I on? Oh, I don't even remember what day I'm on. I think I said 37, but I'm thinking it might be 38. I can't remember. Maybe it's 37. We'll go with that. I'll look it up when I put my little gratitude thing on there. That's cool. I've done so many days, I can't remember which day I am. Day I am on and I can't talk. This is what editing is for, which I refuse to do, but I may need to start doing at some point. Um, it also means I will have to probably upgrade my phone because I don't have enough space on my phone to um, download the program and stuff like that because it this, for whatever reason, takes up all the space on my phone, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. So I'm going to have to research different types of phones or things that I can get. Yay, more things to spend money on, money that I don't have. So this will be fun. Anyway, um, I am grateful that I can at least do these YouTube videos this way, and I hope that people are accepting of my mistakes and errors, and I'm grateful that I can just air them and just say, hey, I, I make mistakes, I'm not perfect, and this is me, and I hope that this is okay, my little unique quirky self. So I'm just getting to know myself again and, and loving it and finding things to be grateful for and to look forward to and grateful for the writing that I've been able to do today and just grateful that I can start my day at any time that I need to. It doesn't have to be a set time, just whenever I'm ready to get out of bed and whenever I'm ready to go to work, whenever I'm ready to do things. So I'm grateful I have a very flexible schedule like that and I am grateful for anybody that's watching these videos. I know I don't have very many followers now. I'm hoping that changes in the future. If you guys like, subscribe and share what I'm doing. Um, and I hope you guys have a day full of gratitude and I can't think of anything else to say. So have a great day.